Today I'm going to show you how to set up SEO writing to quickly write blog posts and publish them to drive traffic to your blog. So we're going to come over here to the SEO writing dashboard and the main component I like to use here is the one click blog posts. This has been really working well and I want to show you how I'm using this as fast as easy to set up and so we're going to walk through that today. We're going to go ahead and click there on the one click blog post and the first thing we want to do is to choose our keyword. Now the keyword is what's really going to prompt this to give you the title and then that title is going to do its job to give you the rest of that article. So you want to make sure that that you're using a good keyword. Now, in order to do this, you want to make sure that you've done some research when it comes to the keyword and that you're using something that you at least have the ability to rank um, on Google with, even though we have other ways that we can drive traffic to these blog posts as well, particularly Pinterest. It's my um, biggest way that I like to drive traffic to my blog, but we still want to make sure that we have a keyword to just give ourselves the extra boost on Google to make sure that our posts can still rank there as well, even though we're going to be driving our own traffic. So I like to use an SEO tool called Key Search. I talk to you all about this all the time. It's my favorite. I'll put the link in the description here if you want to check this out. But as you can see, I've already done a search on fall coffee and I've gotten back some good results that I personally like. And I'm actually going to go with fall coffee recipes, 360. 20 search volume. Um, this would be a seasonal post for me, but I'm absolutely okay with that. So I'm going to take that keyword, fall coffee recipes, and that's the keyword I'm going to use. And I'm going to ask it to generate me a title. So we just click there on generate title and it's doing its thing and it gives cozy fall coffee recipes to warm you up. I actually really don't mind that. But if you did, you could just hit generate title again and it would give you something else. Since we're okay with that, we're going to go ahead and scroll down here to the core settings. Obviously, we want this to be in English. What type of article do we want this to be? A how-to guide, a listicle, a product review, news, comparison. What do you really want this to be? For me, this is going to be, I'll say a roundup post. Well, not a roundup post. Let's go listicle. Um, and then the article size, we want this to be about 2,400 to 3,600 words would be the medium. I think we'll keep it on medium just to see what it can do. The tone of voice, how do you want that to be? You can choose either friendly. The default one here, it says that it's one credit. Now, I, I'm not sure how these credits, you know, factor into the plan that you're on because you can do a lot of this on their free plan. But I just like to keep this at whatever it's defaulted to and go from there because I, I'm not into AI this deep to know what all of this means. But I do know um, GPT-40, that's something that um, I use regularly, but I'm just going to keep it on default. The point of view, do you want to write this in first person, second person? I'm going to be telling a story. So first person is what you would use to be telling your perspective. So I'm going to be talking about the fall recipes that I like. I will take what this gives me and obviously make it fit for what I do. And I'm going to choose first person there. And then the readability, we want to go with what's recommended at eighth, ninth grade, easily understood eighth grade level. Okay. We're in the United States. Um, no AI words removal basic AI words. We'll just leave that to what it's defaulted to. And then the brand voice. This is where you can take how you speak and make it create an article based on how you speak. And so I had an article before, a fashion guide that I did, and I like the tone of voice that I used in that guide. And so I created a brand voice for that. But if I wanted to create a new brand voice, all we would do is come over here and start writing some text in for how we would speak and how we would want this to be. Or we can go to an actual 
blog post that we already have on our blog and we can have it generate a brand voice based on a blog post that we've already written and I done that with the fashion post that I told it to use before so if you wanted to create a brand voice if you know someone that you like how they do their content how they speak how they talk you technically could put a link there for how they write it but you want it to sound like you and you want to give it your style so i would definitely say use a link from your own content moving on to the details that you want it to include in your article so if you want specific things here you could actually write them out let's see what it says about the details of that article you can add key information that you would want for example if you wanted to add contact information pricing and things like that it could include Include that inside of your article as you can see there so that's actually really really helpful and I like that so anything that you want to make sure that it includes whether it's something particular about the thing that you're doing so I'm doing coffee recipes if I wanted to ensure that this talks specifically about a brand of coffee that I like to use a type of coffee that I like to use I could go ahead and put that there I'm not going to do that just for the sake of ease I can go back and do that if I like we're going to go ahead and move on down to the media hub here. Um, do we want images in the post? Yes, we absolutely do. The number of images, three, it's already defaulted to that. And the image style, you can choose whether you want photo, cartoon, whatever the rest of this is, cinematic, abstract, anime. We're just going to choose regular old photo, okay? And then you can choose the image size. 16 by 9 is going to be the width of like a video. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that because if they had, oh, actually, I'm going to choose 9 by 16 as well because these can be used for Pinterest pins and I actually really like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put choose 9 by 16 there which is great. Um, and then additional instructions you can tell it any other things that you want it to have there and then if you want to go ahead and add your brand name just so it knows who you are and what you like in this and so you want it to include the main keyword in the first image as the alt text absolutely we do because that is important for SEO I won't get into all of that but I'll just say that 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 is helpful and then add informative alt text to images based on their content providing a clear description absolutely we want that done as well you all know I think YouTube and Google are the Bonnie and Clyde of the internet so we absolutely want a YouTube video embedded there one video is absolutely fine and we're going to alternate image and video um, all media elements will be placed strictly under the headings. No, we don't have to do that. Okay, so we're going to move down here to SEO keywords to include in the text. Now, this is where you could add additional keywords if you wanted to. So going back to the keyword search tool that I talked about here, you can choose some of these other keywords that you see here. And if you think there's something that makes sense that goes in your post, you can totally take it like fall coffee syrups. I think that could be great in my post about fall coffee recipes. And so that could be a keyword that I could take and go ahead and add here for it to use inside of the post. Now, the structure of the post, how do we want the hook to be? Do we want them to include an anecdotal or story? This is where you can type here, like your actual experience that you have with coffee. And so I could talk about how, you know, I absolutely love coffee in the fall and why something that happened to me or what really gave me that, uh, that vibe for coffee in the fall. I could tell a story. I can can use statistics to kind of back up some things here. So this is basically the structure and how you want them to do the brief of the blog post. But we're just going to leave that for now. And then conclusion tables, H3s, yes, you want, this is all formatting of the blog post, how you want it to look. You want your blog post to be skimmable. So you want it to have all these different things that's going to break up the different sections and make it easy for people to read. So you want to ensure that you have that. 
Up next, the internal linking automatically index your site and add links to relevant content. This is amazing for SEO as well. Select a website. You would just choose your website here and I love that. And so the number of links that you want it to do, insert links only if they are relevant to the content. That is correct. We, this is going to help with the SEO and help connect people to other relevant blog posts on your site. So if you're talking specifically about coffee mugs, for instance, in this post, and you have a blog post about coffee mugs, it will link them to that blog post that you have about coffee mugs. Same thing with external linking. I'm not going to do that right now. It can link people to relevant blog posts that are outside of yours. So say you're doing a research piece and you're looking for a news article or something to back up what it is that you're saying in your blog post. This is where you wanna use external linking there and then connect across the web. Um, we're gonna leave that off as defaulted as well. Now, obviously, before we do any of this, you have to have a blog, obviously, to do these blog posts and articles to drive that traffic back to your site in order for people to click on your affiliate links or purchase your digital products, or even just make the ad revenue from the traffic on your site. You wanna make sure that you have a WordPress hosted blog. And to do that, I recommend Bluehost. I absolutely love Bluehost. I've been using them for many, many, many years. You all know I started with Bluehost on my very first blog that I still have to this day. Um, I love their WordPress managed hosting. Now, when you use the link in my description, you're going to go ahead and get an additional 60% off on these plans. You can start with the starter plan if you need. This is going to be good up to 40,000 visits to your site every single month and if your site is new that is more than enough the starter plan here but if you need more and you feel like you're just gonna you know knock it out of the park from the beginning totally choose the business hosting there but you want to make sure that you have a self-hosted wordpress blog in order to do all these things that we are talking about here. Okay, so now we come down to the syndication part here. This is if you want them to take this blog post and create content for your social media posts. And so Pinterest, you could say yes, and it would take the images that you have within this post and it could create Pinterest pins for you. Same thing for Twitter. It could create a tweet for you. Same thing for your email newsletter. And so you would just click yes or no on all of these. If indeed you wanted it to do that, I'm going to leave them off for now because we're not going to do that. And then link to be used in the creation of marketing materials. You could link to a page that you wanted to use um, to create this blog post for you. We're not going to do that because we're not creating any marketing materials and then the outline editor so if you wanted this to make an outline for you that's totally what this is for i have not experimented with this at all so we're just going to leave that be now one of the biggest benefits to seo writing for me obviously outside of it creating the entire blog post for me and me having to not do much around the SEO and the formatting and knowing what to put inside of the post because it literally does all of that for me. The only thing I have to do is go back and put my personal human touch to this blog post is that it can publish directly to your website. I absolutely love that. Okay, you're simply going to go ahead and choose the website you want it to post to. I already have that set up and that's simply by going to the plugins in your WordPress site and and downloading the plugin for SEO writing. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at the options here. I want it posted to my website, Candidly Nakisha. The post type is just going to be a post, not a page or a URL. Post status, do I want it to publish directly to the site? No, I actually want this to go as a draft and I will go and make all my changes and publish it when I'm ready. You can choose the category that you would like this to go into. This is going to be a lifestyle post post on my particular site. Tags, you can have it generate a bunch of tags for you, but I'm not going to do that. Let's let's uncheck that. And then who do you want this to be listed as? Author, obviously. 
randomly select, I will have that listed as me and then the URL format. Choose how the URL slug should be generated. Add the first image as the featured image, absolutely yes. And then add meta description to excerpt field. The slug is going to be the main keyword in the URL slug. That is going to be great for SEO. Again, we're not getting into that right now, but we're just going to make this as easy as possible. So we're all set to have this automatically post to our website. We're going to to go back up here to the top now if you want to save this template so all of the defaults that you made on this post and all the things that you chose and you want to make sure that you get those settings right the next time that you do it you can go ahead and click on save template right here so we're going to go ahead and click on run so that it can create this blog post for us okay so as you can see this post has updated and it is ready for us to take a look so we're going to go ahead and click on that there all right so this is what it gave us as you can see the first image there is a beautiful ai image i love the oranges and everything it generated this for us now this the generator is not perfect the image generator is not perfect sometimes you can see wonky things and you just have to change those out which is absolutely fine to do all right it's given us all of the content it embedded a youtube video which i absolutely love pumpkin spice maple cinnamon i love that vanilla chai beautiful image here again listing off some of those recipes I absolutely love it. There is a chart in there, another chart. Then it has our facts section here. So it looks like it did exactly what we needed it to do, which I absolutely love. Now, once you're ready for this to publish over to your blog, it's really, really simple. Now, I'm not going to publish this and make it public until I make my changes and go in and do the things that I feel are necessary for this post. Again, add my human touch, take out some of the things that don't make sense for who I am. I kind of use it as a guide. I do not post this raw just like this how it is you can do that if you choose i just do not but we're gonna go ahead and click on publish and watch what it does so it's going to be a post we're putting it in drafts it's going to be a lifestyle do you want to add any tags no not right now i can do that when i get over there author so let's go ahead and okay so let's go over to the website all right and as you can see it is posted right here already on the website as a draft exactly as we told it to do let's click in here and see what it looks like inside of our wordpress dashboard here and this it was is what it looks like it took that first image exactly as i told it to and used it as the primary image for this and then okay that's the meta description there the excerpt that it used this is the youtube video so that looks good here's the first one down here and here is the another one all right, so we are all set. If you were ready to post this, you could go ahead and just click on publish just like that. I'm going to take a look and see what that looks like, what the preview looks like on the actual site. Okay, that looks good. And as you can see, the formatting just takes shape to whatever the formatting is for the site that you are posting these on, which is fine that's exactly what you wanted to do and we are all set so yeah that's exactly what you need to do to have seo writing go ahead and create these blog posts for you so that you can then go ahead and create your pinterest graphics and go ahead and drive them over to your blog to get that traffic and start making the money that you deserve